Welcome to the prayer channel. We serve a miracle working God, a God who is able to do more than we can understand or imagine. Today we're reading about when the Lord rescued the children of Israel by parting the Red Sea. We're reading from Exodus chapter 14 verses 26 to 31. It reads, Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the waters may come back upon the Egyptians, on their chariots and on their horsemen. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and when the morning appeared, the sea returned to its full depth, while the Egyptians were still fleeing into it. So the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. Then the waters returned and covered the chariots, the horsemen, and all the army of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. Not so much as one of them remained. But the children of Israel had walked on dry land in the midst of the sea, and the waters were a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. So the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Thus Israel saw the great work which the Lord had done in Egypt. So the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and his servant Moses. Lord, we desire to believe you today. Lord, we desire to believe, Lord, that you are the God who is able to do miraculous signs and wonders beyond our own understanding or comprehension. Lord, we choose to believe you today. We choose to believe every promise that you've spoken over us, Lord. Every song that you've sung over us, Lord. Lord, we choose to believe your report today. Lord, we choose to believe the report of the Lord and not of man. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that this scripture points so clearly to the fact that you are able to enact miracles, do miraculous things that defy our understanding defy our intellect, defy everything that we've learned, Lord. Lord, when you have a plan, Lord, no one can come against that plan. When you have a purpose, no one can come against that purpose. And Lord, no matter how difficult or impossible it seems, we just thank you, Lord, that we are seeing here clearly that nothing is impossible for you. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you helped Moses to be obedient, Lord, and to have faith in you. Lord, when you told him to stretch out his hand over the sea, he did that, Lord. Lord, he didn't doubt. He didn't question you, Lord. He just did what you said to do. And Lord, likewise, today we pray, Lord, that you would help us to do what you've told us to do. Lord, where we're lagging behind or trying to make excuses or trying to rationalize what you've said, Lord, I pray that you would help us to just listen to what you've said. Listen to what you've put in our hearts, Lord, and to do what you've said to do. Lord, just like Moses did here. And the result was amazing, Lord. The result was absolutely amazing. And the children of Israel were able to walk on the dry land in the midst of the sea. Lord, you created a wall with the water and they were free. And Lord, you covered the Egyptians, Lord, with the water and they were destroyed. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you destroy our enemies, Lord. Those who are up against us, Lord, those who keep coming against us, Lord, we thank you that today you are tearing down the strongholds that enemies have had over our lives, Lord. Lord, the strongholds that people have spoken that have been damaging and destructive to our mental health and to our minds. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you're tearing down and you're covering over every lie spoken by the enemy to bring about our destruction or to bring about our doubt. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you're continually reminding us that we need to look to you. We need to have full faith in what you can do and not in what we can do or what we think you can do. Lord, open our hearts today. Open our minds. Lord, show us your ways. Lord, help us to walk in your ways. Help us to accept, Lord, that you have, your ways are above our ways. Your ways are higher than we can even understand. Lord, I thank you that you're reminding us not to fear. You're reminding us to exercise that childlike faith again, to just believe you, to just respond to what you're saying. Lord, where we're looking for a miracle today, Lord, where we're believing you for a miracle, 
Lord, help us to stretch out our hand just like Moses did. Stretch out our hand, Lord, over the thing that seems impossible and to allow your hand to touch our hand so that you can enact a miracle. Lord, we thank you that you are working on our lives, but you're also opening our hearts and our minds to the possibilities of what you can do. Lord, we know that you're a healer. Lord, we know that you can heal our bodies, heal our minds, heal our emotions. Lord, we also know that you're a deliverer. Lord, you can deliver us from the hands of evil. You can deliver us from oppression and torment. Lord, we thank you, Lord, as well as a healer and a deliverer. Lord, you're a father in heaven. And Lord, you desire to shower your children with wonderful gifts, to protect us and keep us safe. Lord, to love us. And Lord, we thank you for your love. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that while we're calling out and crying out for miracles in our own lives, Lord, that we know that you will move in the time that you want to move, Lord. Lord, we're not trying to force your hand or hasten things that we have no jurisdiction to hasten. But Lord, we are asking, Lord, would you look on us, Lord? Would you see our situations? Lord, just like you've told us to do, to look to your scripture, to look to what you've done before, Lord, we look to this example of Moses and the parting of the Red Sea as an example of what we know you can do. And Lord, we pray that today, Lord, for everybody who is bound, everyone who is struggling, who feels that like they're up against a wall, Lord, would you part their Red Sea today? Would you open up a door for them? Would you open up a route for them to escape, Lord, to go into a new arena, arena with dry land and safety, just like you did for the children of Israel. Lord, we love you and we thank you for this wonderful day. In Jesus' name we've prayed.